Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna take a look at the Xiaomi Ultra Short Throw Projector. I did do a full review on this projector itself. If you wanna check that out, the link is down below in the description. You can see my initial review and unboxing of this projector. I've been trying to figure out, is this a projector I wanna have full time in my home theater? And in today's video, I'm going to let you guys know what I found, things I like, things I don't like, and hopefully that'll help you guys in your final decision. We're gonna get into all the details right after the short introduction. Let's rock. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon. There's giveaways every month and you could win something simply by being subscribed to the channel. All right, so let's start out with some of the good things. This projector right here is really good at giving you a very, very clear, large image. Even in a well-lit room with the blinds open during the daytime, I can see this projector better than I can see my LG and my BenQ. And I think that has to do with not only the lumens, but the fact that it's so close to the screen. And even though it is visible in the daytime more than my other projectors, it does have a much more clear picture at nighttime or in a dark room. So the brightness is definitely a plus on this one. Second of all, if you have like a small theater or maybe just a guest room in your house that you want to turn into like a gaming room or your home theater, this one is going to work better than the other two models that I've been testing because you can have this so close to the wall. So you can have a 150 inch image right in front of you and you don't even have to have more than four feet in the bedroom. That's another pro of this projector. And the third thing that I like about this a lot is it runs great with video games. There is a very, very very low latency, low lag when you're playing video games on this. Here's a little bit of Far Cry 5. It looks incredible coming off the ultra short throw projector. The colors, the sharpness, everything looks great. I mean, look at the detail while I'm out here running around shooting at people. Whoa, 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 what was she thinking? What was she thinking? You don't run up on me like that. I have a pipe. Oh, you're an innocent bystander. Did you, did you see anything? Are you sure you didn't see anything? I think you're lying. Now we just gotta dump the bodies over the edge and dispose of the evidence and throw the car in the river as well to make sure that nobody saw what we just did. So when I did the initial review on this, I tested out Forza. I felt pretty much no latency, no lag, and the games look absolutely amazing, crystal clear, very sharp picture. So, so far, so good. But as far as some of the things that I don't like so much about this, the operating system comes in Chinese. You're going to have to install English separately by an APK file. And then even when you install English, you'll be able to see some of the menu settings in English, but all of the apps will still be in Chinese. So you're gonna have Chinese logos everywhere. That's kind of hard. I don't wanna have to hack a projector when I purchase it, especially if I'm spending a lot of money on it. If you have never tried to adjust audio, bass, and treble in Chinese, and you don't speak Chinese, good luck with that, my friend. And another thing that might throw some people off, there is no US plug for this. You're going to have to buy a converter that allows you to plug in like a Chinese type plug through the converter into a US outlet. So instead of having this projector running straight out of the outlet in the wall, you're going to have to have a little bit of bulkiness in order to have a converter that you can use this in the US. And the third thing is downloading apps to this. If you want to download applications such as YouTube or Netflix and stuff like that, you're going to have to download them separately as an APK file and install them. That's kind of a pain in the butt. So the final conclusion, if you're looking for something to just plug in, play some video games on, operate this whole projector through a separate system. If you plan on using it for that purpose only, you're going to get a great picture and a very good gaming experience using this one. However, if you wanted to have the whole setup like the Wi-Fi, the applications, it's it's gonna be a little bit more difficult in order for you to get that. So I'll leave a link down below in the description, guys. I believe that this might be on sale right now. There's flash sales going on all the time with this model. Xiaomi is definitely trying to make its way into the United States. They have been. They've got Amazfit Pay smartwatches. They've got TVs. They've got computers. They've got projectors. Xiaomi is a company based out of China that is really working hard to push its way over here in the US. And I think that they're doing a very good job. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Hit that thumbs up button if today's video was helpful in helping you decide whether or not you wanted to take the plunge on this product and make sure you stay tuned we've got more cool videos coming very soon in the near future until next time i will catch you guys later my name is casey nolan thank you for joining me and you know what we got to do you got to rotate on the way out peace guys Thank you for joining me the other night on the Hot Sauce Challenge. My 5% team was on there with me live chatting. We had a good time. I was eating some hot sauce, burning up. A lot of you were worried about how my ass was gonna be feeling the next day. So here's a little update. My ass was not burning the next day for very long. It was definitely hard to ingest all that hot sauce. I ate like eight different hot sauces at once. I was laying in bed that night sweating with my heart beating. I had fun chatting with you like always and thank you guys who left super chats. Thank you so much once again.